and welcome to my February 2020 setup. I'm going to start off by putting in a page tab so that I can find it as I go through the year. I'm hoping this book will last me the year, it should do. Um, I write on the tab using a Statler Lumo Colour Permanent Marker. I find those are fantastic for writing on just about everything. They're especially great for some of the glossier tabs that I've got. Um, the ones that I use to write my TV programmes on because they don't smudge and they dry super fast. I mean, I wrote that, stuck it on and it was already dry. So yeah, they're fantastic. So I'm starting off by doing my February uh, cover page. I hope this comes out all right because uh, whenever I try and um, uh, do the voiceover, the video playback gets really, really, really jumpy. And I'm worried to move in case it changes the voice and all that lot. But anyway, I digress. So yes, my theme is flowers. Or floral type uh, doodles. And I wanted that plain bit in the middle. I did sort of, should I, shan't I, you know, should I, shouldn't I put a, um, a line on above and below where it says Feb. But in the end, I decided not to, to make it look like I'd sort of stuck the washi on. Um, I don't know, I was quite pleased with it when it finished, but then when I went back to look at it, I wasn't as enough with it. But I suppose that's just the way it goes. But hey, it's done. Okay, so same tracker, slightly different style. I normally do my square tracker over an entire spread those two pages there it, it normally covers the whole thing but then I thought well you know I wonder if this would fit on one page and it does um I've taken out one thing that I track which is the weights so I'm only actually tracking 10 things rather than the 11 but it fits really really well the way I've done it is the outside squares are every three and a quarter squares around the outside and then the inside square that square on the inside is four squares by four squares and then I basically do my column lines on the dot and then halfway between the next that dot and the next dot if that makes sense I think I'll have to do a video um, showing how I did this this was the first time trying it and it's actually worked out really, really well. Um, I'm looking forward to colouring it in. The only ish thing I can't do is actually write down my tasks in place. So I've written them above it, which, you know, that's cool. It works quite well. And then I was like, mm, but it looks a bit plain. So I pulled this washi out and then I remembered this is washi that's got a backing to it. And so I got a bit posh and I did a corner chomper and stuck it down and... It, it it looks really I I actually quite like how it looks. It looks really, really good. I'm really, really pleased with it. So I'd be interested to see whether I still like it towards the end, you know, whereas it's only, where it's only on one page. It'll be interesting to see. And then I wanted a pen that matched, so I pulled a paper mate flare out just so I could write tracker in, just to fill that gap up really. Now this is my insta tracker as i call it um on this one this is my reminder to post to instagram at least every day and what i do on this one is i write the date that's the date there of each month now they see me write a new week that is on a wednesday so every wednesday i set up for next week or the the following week so there I'll write my new week. So on the Thursday, I can put up my finished week from the week before, if that makes sense. Um, and then I just filled in other things like my new pages, so my new February cover page and all of that lot. And then I like to do the pages in progress. And then I like to do the finished pages from last month, which, you know, it, it works quite well. Um, the first column is that the spread is ready. The second column is that I've taken the picture. And the third column is that I've uploaded it to Instagram. I also keep a note of my follower count on Instagram as well. Because it goes up by maybe one or two each month. Um, and I, it has been going up now that I'm posting more regularly. So, you know, I'm quite pleased about that. 
this next spread is the card of the day um if you've not if, if you don't come and watch my today in my bujo um videos i like to pull a tarot card every single day and um i just record what i pull on that the spread i did some pretty washy and then i moved on this is my about me spread this these trackers here the top one is my mood and the bottom one is my pain um i suffer from chronic pain and i like to record how it and my mood play against each other um it also correlates in with my sleeping steps which are on the next page um i found this absolutely adorable lady on google images and um appropriated her last last month and uh, i was really really pleased to how well she came out i absolutely adore this little drawing and um it's actually remarkably easy to draw i thought it was going to be really really hard and that i'd scuppered myself but i actually really really enjoy drawing her um she's fun last month i had her with her hair down this month she's got her hair up in a bun and next month she will have her dreads back because that's what i'm doing in a couple of weeks time um and also last month i didn't bother color you know coloring her she was just a, a black and white drawing um this month i thought yeah why not you know so she's got blue eyes she's wearing a purple top and i was going to originally do black leggings but then i thought well you're not going to see the detail of her legs bending like that and i hummed and hard and then i chose this god awful red color that clashes delightfully with the purple but that's just me all over and i've given her brown um brown hair she should have had gray hair I was going to do grey hair because I'm, I've got quite grey hair. But I did grey slippers. And it was just like, oh God. Scales, I will record my weight on there. I will also record what clothes size I am and my BMI reading. Um, I take measurements, but hence the tape measure around her waist. Which I actually forgot to paint, so I'll do that in a minute. Um, I measure around my upper arms, my hips, my bum, my stomach and my thighs. And then, yeah, that's just that. Is that spread already? My next two trackers are my sleep and my steps. Now, my sleep tracker is that one that I'm working on there on the left page. And what I do on the right side of that particular tracker, I record my sleep as my Fitbit says. On the left side, I record it as how I feel when I wake up. Do I feel like it was a good night or not? The steps tracker is just simply, I record my steps. The increments across the top are in thousandths per square. So each square represents 1,000 steps. Now we're into probably my most popular tracker. And this one is for chores. Um, it This is probably the one that takes the longest to draw as well because it's so so many little boxes really <laughs> um basically what i do is i have chores that i do on specific days of the week i uh, some chores i do every day like cleaning the toilet um doing the laundry my office the dishwasher the work tops um sweeping um but i only mop the floor once a week and that that gets put on a monday um i only vacuum downstairs twice a week so i write down what days they are each of those sets of little squares you'll see in a minute represents a day and then i just write the chores in so every monday i do the loo the laundry i clean the office up i clean the tv dishwasher work top sweep and mop tuesdays um i do most of that except the tv uh oh and i don't mop but i do check the fridge and the cupboards and i put the bins out um so yeah that's just basically how it works it works quite well and then i decided this month that i was going to use my calligraphy pen rather than my lots of different colors uh brush in. and i really really like how this work came out i think it looks quite cool i'm really really pleased with it i'm just gonna add another page tab to um show the start of the weeks and that's it all done I'm just going to show you again what I've just done, a little flip through so you can see it all together, all nice and finished. 
So we've got my February cover page, my tracker, my Instagram tracker, my card of the day tracker, my about me spread with my mood and my pain, my sleep and my steps trackers, I noticed that I hadn't rubbed out where I'd written sleep in pencil. Just a quick peek to make sure I'd done that page. And finally, my chores tracker. Thank you so so much for joining me please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and if you'd like to click the book you will be subscribed hit the bell you'll be notified when i upload new content if you have any comments questions or anything you'd like to know any anything at all please feel free to leave it down below you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find the comments if you're on a mobile phone take it easy and i will see you next time